Good day everyone. Welcome back to the Ecoterism Journey channel. This is Paul. Thank you very much for watching my videos and for patronizing my channel. If this is your first time in my channel, please do click subscribe below. Kindly click also the bell icon so that you will be notified for the new uploaded videos. This video is an instructional resource in response to the new normal of delivering academic requirements. This video emphasizes the Hazard Analysis and Critical Control Points HACCP. Likewise, this is one of the course intended learning outcomes of risk management as applied to safety, security and sanitation. Please relax and enjoy while learning at the same time. What are the objectives? At the end of this video, you will be able to 1. Describe the overview of hazard analysis and critical control points. 2. Determine the industry sectors practicing HACCP standards. 3. Describe the hazard analysis and critical control points principles. 4. Determine some of the benefits in practicing the system. Hazard analysis and critical control points are HACCP. Food and beverage service operations involve activities that engage personnel to apply food safety practices from purchasing raw materials, receiving, storing, preparing, productions, dispatching and serving foods items. Employees are required to keep the inventory of materials, maintaining service quality continuously, ensuring standard and productivity, and anticipate feedback from the customers for further development. One of the components used in food service operations in providing food safety and quality is HACCP. Hazard Analysis Critical Control Points is a standard and recognized internationally. This method is used in identifying and managing food safety program-related risks. This can provide customers, the public, and several regulatory agencies an assurance that food safety program is well practiced in food service operations. This is also a management system in which food safety is addressed through the analysis and control of biological, chemical, and physical hazards. Hazard analysis and critical control point has been considered as a prerequisite for food safety and security. HACCP has been used and practiced in most food service operations of the following. Hotels and resorts. This standard is practiced in the hotel's food service operations to ensure food safety and quality. This includes in determining and accrediting suppliers, purchasing, storing, production, service, consumption, cooling, packaging and delivery. Restaurants and catering. Restaurants are applying this standard to ensure food safety and quality of foods served to customers and diners. Employees are trained to properly handle foods safely during the whole process from purchasing to consumptions. Cruise ships and merchant vessels. This standard is an important element to ensure food safety and quality of food items served to passengers, tourists and crews. The food items are enough for the whole journey and handled safely from point of departure to a place of destinations. Hospitals. HACCP is now being used in hospitals' food service operations to ensure safety and quality of foods served to patients, visitors, and employees. The standard should include the dietary considerations, portioning, time and temperature controls. Canteens and cafeterias. These food service establishments are also applying the HACCP standard to ensure optimal satisfaction of customers and diners. The standard should include cycle menus, dietary considerations and required health benefits. Food manufacturing company. Hazard analysis and critical control points is a standard used in the food manufacturing company to ensure safe food handling practices from purchasing, production, storing, canning, packaging and distributions. Some manufacturing companies indicates the hazard analysis and critical control points logo in the packaging materials and labeling. Airline catering. The system has been an important food safety standards in the airline catering to ensure the welfare of the passenger on board flights. This includes the safety measures from purchasing, delivery, production, storing, reheating and serving. Household level. This standard may also be practiced to ensure quality of foods eaten by family members and relatives. These food service operations must adhere, practice and be accredited with the hazard analysis and critical control points standard. This is a systematic approach in identifying, evaluating, implementing, and control of food safety hazards, based on the following seven principles. Principle 1. Conduct a hazard analysis. Conduct the hazard analysis with the safety team involving personnel from food production, safety regulation agencies, and management. 
gather evidences through observation, evaluation and identification of hazards of the equipment, materials, flow of foods, staff, and procedures. Principle 2. Determine the critical control points. Critical control point is a step applied to prevent hazards and or reduce to acceptable level. Critical control points are usually practices or procedures from purchasing, storing, cooking, cooling, reheating, holding of foods to prevent cross-contamination and foodborne illnesses. Principle 3. Establish critical limits. A critical limit is to ensure that biological, chemical or physical hazard is controlled by a critical control point. Critical control limits must be something that can be monitored by measurement or observation systematically on a regular basis, such as temperature, time, acidity level, moisture and oxygen. Principle 4. Establish monitoring procedures. Monitoring system is a process that includes the observations, evaluations or measurements to assess whether the critical control point is being met. This gives a record of the flow of foods in the establishment that indicates actions if critical limit is not met, which is done by the Food Safety Committee. The monitoring system should be concise, easy to use and meet the needs of the food service establishment with the Food Safety Regulatory Authority. Principle 5. Establish Corrective Actions. This principle determines appropriate possible solutions and action taken on the discrepancies met along the process. Corrective actions may range depending on the severity of the situation like for example, continue cooking until the established temperature required is met. The Food Safety Committee should establish the responsible person for implementing the corrective actions and what corrective actions were initiated. Principle 6. Establish verification procedures. These procedures involves the activities of validating the hazard analysis standards, plans, and monitoring the system's implementation. Verification can be accomplished by the food safety experts' advice, scientific studies and observations of the flow of food, measurements and evaluations. Verification is an activity also which can be done in an on-site review of the established critical limits. This verification step provides an opportunity to make amendments and justifications to the plan for further enhancement. Principle 7. Establish record-keeping and documentation procedures. Required standards should be met through record-keeping and documentation procedures, simply that includes information illustrating the pertinent process or system. Such records of documents includes time temperature logs, checklists, forms, flowcarts, employee training records, certifications from different agencies, standard operating procedures, incident reports and other food operation requirements. The following are practical hazard analysis and critical control point steps. 1. Evaluate menu standards, equipment used, materials and highlight potentially hazardous foods. 2. Review the composition of recipes that include potentially hazardous foods and highlight problem ingredients. 3. Ensure to include critical temperatures and times in the menu, recipes and procedures. 4. Ensure to check food temperatures during preparation, holding, cooking, cooling and dispatching. 5. Monitor the implementation of standard operating procedures, correct if required time temperatures are not properly met. 6. Verify that the previous steps are being followed including the plan, discrepancies, corrections and amendments. 7. Develop recording system for time and temperatures that includes charting and other forms of recording system. Food service establishments must adhere food safety practices standards to ensure the following benefits. 1. Promote mutual understanding and relationships between customers and management of the food service operations. 2. Ensure support from the regulatory bodies to establish standardization process. 3. Ensure customer satisfaction without compromising product quality, safety, affordability and profit. 4. Establish suppliers within the community thereby helping them economic enhancement. 5. Build positive reputation from the stakeholders and the industry. 6. Enhance personal and professional level of employees involved in the implementation of the standards. To summarize this lesson, the video discusses the role and importance of HACCP in the food service operations, specifically. 1. The video gives the overview of hazard analysis and critical control points. 2. The use of the HACCP principles in the food service operations. 3. The industry sectors practicing the standards, and. 4. This video emphasizes some of the benefits of HACCP system. I believe that this video is very much useful as we embrace the strategies delivering academic requirements in the new normal. I wish that you were able to learn from this video lesson. For further information, please do not hesitate to post message at the comments section below.
please click subscribe and bell icon so that you will be updated for the next uploaded videos. Thank you very much. God bless.